Bobby Radio Rocks is your concert station. Some Ozzy there. And uh, we are excited about the big show coming up this Friday. Kicking off a big weekend, it's Labor Day weekend, Palomino Fest, Uvalde County Fairplex. It's a night of rock on Friday, September 1st, and it is one heck of a lineup, man. And if you can't have the real deal, this is about as close as you can get. Ozzy Tribute and Black Sabbath Tribute, Blizzard of Oz. Also, Eclipse, a tribute to Journey. High and Dry, a tribute to Def Leppard. But, uh, man, we're really excited about Blizzard of Oz and uh, the tribute to Ozzy and Black Sabbath. And I've got one of the members of the band right here on the phone right now joining me. Chris Wild, what's up, buddy? What's up? Dude, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate you guys uh, checking in, and we're excited about the show coming up Friday uh, in Uvalde. First of all, uh, where are you? Are you guys in the Dallas area, San Antonio area? Where are you guys checking in from? We're based out of Dallas. Okay, that's what I thought. Chris, have you ever been down to Uvalde before, man? I have not. Wow, okay. So first time. We're excited to have you. Um, how long has Blizzard of Oz, the Ozzy and Sabbath tribute, been around? Our first show was... February 2nd of 2007. Wow. So you guys have been around a while. Yeah. So y'all must be pretty good at this. So um, obviously been big fans of Ozzy and Sabbath since the old days. And it's interesting to me when, um, you know, when a band is has been around as long as you guys, you know, not only do you play all the catalog, the hits that everybody knows, but you probably got to keep up with the newer stuff, too, because Ozzy's been, you know, he's had some some recent hits lately, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, we just recently worked up uh, Patient Number 9. Nice. The actual song off the album and uh, played that at a local show. Um, so, yeah, we, we do have to keep up with the, the more recent stuff as well. So let's go ahead and talk about you again. Chris Wild, obviously. Uh, now, that's that's your stage name with the Wild part, right? To keep up with the with the Zach part and, and the right. Aussie thing. Okay. So Chris Wild, guitarist for an Aussie and Sabbath tribute. Let, now, let's go ahead and start off by saying this. If you're going to have the balls to get up on stage and do, you know, the material of some of the greatest guitarists um, known, you know, of all time, you, you got to be pretty confident. You got to be pretty good uh, at your craft. You're a pretty good guitar player, aren't you? Uh, well, you know, like you said, we've been doing this a long time, and, you know, I, I can honestly say that when we first started, I wasn't, you know, near as good as I am now at what we do, but, uh-huh. yeah, it's, uh, you know, you grow up listening to that stuff, you grow up practicing that stuff, and it was just a natural progression to go from playing it in my bedroom, you know, along with the record, to doing it in a tribute band. So, uh, going all the way back to whether it was your childhood or your teen years, um, what was the first Ozzy or Black Sabbath album you ever owned, and what was the first song that you picked up at the guitar and learned? The first album that I owned was Bark at the Moon, 1984. Yeah. When it first came out, uh, I heard Jakey e. Lee do Bark at the Moon, the song, and I was just like, wow. Um, so, some friends of mine said, oh, you need to check out the, the first two albums. Uh, Blizzard of Oz and Dire of Madman, which I immediately ran out and bought. Mm-hmm. And you know, listening to Randy play, you know, it, it's still it still has an effect on me today. I have a poster of him up in my music room, and you know, it's it was just became a lifelong love to listen to Randy and Jake and and now Zach and just you know loving the music, you know and. You got to make sure you include Black Sabbath in there. You know, without Tony Iommi, there would be no Zach Wilde. Yeah, he actually said that himself. So, you know, it, it all just goes together. It's all great music to us, not just to me. And so we enjoy bringing that to the masses. Now, you know, along with uh, Ozzy comes, you know, uh, different lineup changes over the years. Obviously, you're a super fan. Um, what, what what kind of school of thought were you on back? And this is a long time ago at this point. But remember, you know, when Zach was new, were you immediately on board or, or did you did you take a while for you to warm up? Uh, I was immediately on board. He's badass, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, Ozzy had already gotten the reputation of hiring badass guitar players. Yeah. And so, you know. Zach was just the next guy in line, and you know who who knew where he was going to go from that first album. But I I, I love that first album. Absolutely. Now, go ahead, if you don't mind, man. Um, if you had to pick one of your favorite guitar players that work with Ozzy, who would that be? Uh, there's there's just no comparison to Randy. Mm-hmm. They, you know, Jake is awesome, and I love Jake. Uh, so is Zach. I love Zach, but you know, Randy was was Randy, and there's just there's just no knocking him off the top of the hill. That's fantastic, man. So obviously you love the music, you, you love the band. Um, how how do um, 
you're a guitar player, so again, the music must speak to you. Lyrically, do you, do, do uh, Aussie lyrics, Sabbath lyrics resonate with you personally? And if so, how? Um, well, you know, I'll give you kind of an example. You know, War Pigs by Black Sabbath was written, you know, 40-something years ago, 50-something years ago. And those lyrics, I think, resonate today mm-hmm. with, yeah. you know, politics and, and stuff like that. The way people, you know, fight over land or whatever. So, you know, I, I think his his lyrics were relevant back then, and they're still relevant today. Um, as far as Ozzy solo stuff, um, you know, there's a song that particularly resonates with me. It's called uh, Dreamer, and mm-hmm. it's a slower song, but yeah. it's got lots of keyboards and, and piano in it. But, you know, it kind of makes me feel like, you know, he was talking to me. But when, he, when in reality, he was talking about himself. Um, I just, I lost my dad a year ago, and so, and have been playing ever since, uh, a song called See You on the Other Side. Oh my God, yeah. And so, you know, there's music that Ozzy does, you know, people think, oh, it's just, you know, madman craziness and stuff like that, but there's, there's a lot more to Ozzy than just the antics on stage and stuff like that. The the music and the lyrics are, are poignant, I think. No, you know what? Every time I hear See You Another Side come up on the radio, man, I, I get chills every time. It's just one of those songs. And and you're talking about your personal experience. I remember when My Little Man came out. That was the year I had my, my son was born. And, yeah. I mean, that song, every time I hear it still. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's always cool to hear when you guys are in a tribute band that you're fans of the music. And I think that, I mean, that obviously... It should be a prerequisite, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you can't really, you know, consider yourself part of a tribute band if you're not invested in the music much more than just, you know, sitting down and figuring out how they play it and mm-hmm. recreating that for somebody. It's got to be more than that. It's got to be deeper than that. Man, fantastic. Well, again, we're talking to Chris Wilde. He does the guitars for Blizzard of Oz, the Aussie tribute that's coming to town this Friday night. It's a free show at uh, Uvalde County Fairplex, Palomino Fest, a night of rock with Journey, Def Leppard, and Aussie tributes. And um, you guys are, are you guys uh, middle slot is what I'm hearing? Does that sound right to you guys or have you heard yet? Yes, that's. We will be the middle spot. Excited to see you guys. Let's talk about the other guys in the band. Give me a shout out. Tell me their names and what they do and what they bring to Blizzard of Oz. Uh, start off with the drummer. Uh, his name is Scott. Um, you know, me and the drummer and the bass player have known each other since 1987. And we, we've, you know, come and gone between each other as far as playing in the band and doing other things. And But we all came back and just decided we wanted to do this, you know, and, and really see it you know, to its fruition, like we always dreamed of it. And so Scott has has been, he's the oldest in the band, but he's rock solid on the drums. He brings a big kit. I call him the Thunder God because um, he just, he's just that way. Um, <laughs> Guy is on bass. Uh, Guy's, you know, been in the band just as long as Scott and I, and, you know, it's really kind of a, a trio for us. Uh, we met Robert, the singer, uh, he has come on a long journey and, you know, trying to get him to, uh, to, to do this from a tribute band perspective. And, uh, you know, he's come along and we've got, uh, we're, we're actually debuting something new at the Evaldi show. So to give the fans a little bit, something extra to look for. Um, so just be paying attention to, to Robert when he comes out on stage it'll be a it'll be a first i'm sure most of you guys were doing original music at one point you know what i mean just pound the pavement trying to you know make that dream come true um are any of you guys still doing original projects or is this what you guys are doing now just kind of you know paying tribute to your your idols and making making some bucks while you're at it uh you know i think everybody that's in a tribute band has their own original project because Mm -hmm. you know it's hard to let go of that dream possibility yeah you know, being a real rock star. So, yeah, we all do the tribute thing to make some money and get a chance to get out and play, but we all have our original projects. The, the, the bass player, the drummer, and myself, we have an original project. Robert has his own original project. So, yeah, it, it, that never goes away. I think it's safe to say that Dallas is like the tribute band capital of at least Texas, if not America. I mean, there's so many tribute bands, and they all do really well, and some of them are, are really are really great. Um 
would how 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 would you describe the Dallas Fort Worth like tribute band scene? Are you guys all running buddies? Is it competitive? Do you do you share members like hired guns? Uh, give me a little insight as to how that tribute band scene uh, works because it, it is kind of its own scene, right? Within the scene, it is mo- most definitely. Um, everybody that that's been in a band for any length of time, you you, you learn you you play with other bands, you become friends with other people. And you just, you know, it becomes a brotherhood, and everybody tries to help each other out. Yeah, there's an underlying competitiveness that goes along with it, but for the most part, it's a brotherhood. Um, you mentioned it before about uh, it being, I call it the mecca of tribute bands. Uh, okay, I'd say, yeah. I would, I would, say, I actually would say the world because I don't think there's any other city in the world that has as many tribute bands as Dallas does. Right. Absolutely. So, and they're all really good. I mean, you know, the, the majority of them. Um, who, are, who are a few of your friends or, or tribute bands that, that you really admire or respect or you think that are really doing it right? Uh, obviously, uh-huh. there's Back in Black that's out there, you know, having documentary films made about, about them and whatnot. But, but who else? Yeah. They're, they're, they're there. Um, one of my really close friends is John Inman, who plays in Def Legend. Okay. Um, they're, you know, those guys travel all over. They have a huge show that goes along with their stuff. And, you know, so I know John, I know Mike, the, the guy that owns the band and, and, and books the band and stuff. So, you know, um, let's see, who else? Uh, John Land, is in, uh, who runs uh, Rockin', which is a tribute to Dawkins. Nice. He's got, uh, he's a really good friend of mine. We, we do a lot of shows together with him. So, yeah, you know. If you don't pretty much know everybody in this scene after being a part of it for a very short time, then, you know, you're not, you're not doing your job right. Well, again, we got Chris Wilde. He is the guitar player for uh, Blizzard of Oz, the tribute to Ozzy and Black Sabbath, performing this Friday night at Palomino Fest and Night of Rock at Uvalde County Fairplex. This is a free show, so don't got to pay any cover. Just show up and uh, bring some beer money, maybe some uh, money for the merch table. You guys have any T-shirts or stuff uh, available at the show this Friday? Uh, unfortunately, we will not okay. have any merchandise at the show. Um, we're in the process of getting a, a whole new set of merch done. Now, I think when, when some people, especially in a certain generation, think of tribute bands, sometimes you think of that movie Rockstar with uh, Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. You know, um, yep. have you ever thought about, ever contemplated, you know, the thought of a big national act, you know, kind of recruiting you for what you do? And how does that little fantasy, how does that fantasy play out in your head? Uh, yes, I have thought about that. <laughs> I've often wondered if, you know, if, you know, Ozzy was playing a show with Zach many years back, and Zach would come up sick, and they needed somebody to fill the show in that already knew the material. And you know, you get that phone call from Sharon. You know, hey. Uh-huh. Uh, so yeah, that that's always been a fantasy, but you know, you, you know the reality of it. There's. <laughs> A million great guitar players out there that they would probably call long before they would call somebody in a tribute band. But, hey. uh, All right, so just just pl- never- just play the scenario out though. You get the call. Sharon calls. Oh, he's like, "Yeah, you're in the band," you know. And what 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 do you? What's the first thing you do when you get that when that, when that's confirmed? Who's who's the first person you call? Or what's the first thing you do? Um, I probably would call a uh, guy, the bass player. Uh, mm-hmm. We've been you know close friends for a long time. I'd probably call John Inman from Def Legend next, <laughs> uh, just as a, you know, can you believe this is happening type of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I think I would immediately take off time from work and start practicing. Now, now, g- given the opportunity to play with Ozzy, what's, what would be the, uh, you think that, what's the thing you'd most look forward to actually sharing stage with Ozzy, and what's the thing that most would, well, like, freak you out or scary the most, or, or have you most apprehensive well, you know, it dep- I think it would depend on whether or not Ozzy wanted, or Sharon in this case, would want me to be myself more so, or would they want me to try to, you know, do what I do right now, which is dress up like Zach Wilde and, <laughs> and you know, play that role. So that that would be the, the, the scarier part. You know, I, I think getting up on stage with, you know, an icon of your, of, of your life that you, you know, looked up to and spent a lot of money on for concerts and... And, and whatnot, um, I think I would just try to get up there and enjoy every second of that, that, that I was able to do that, and just try to have fun and and show people that, you know, I can play this stuff, and just try to enjoy every moment. 
Nice. Well, you mentioned that you look, you know, you, you do the part of Zach. You, you look good, actually. You look a lot like him. It's 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 pretty cool. Um, what do the, what preparations do the rest of the band take uh, to kind of give us that Aussie Sabbath experience? Well, I'll give you a little hint. That's one of the things. That's the one thing that I'm talking about as far as Robert's concerned. Uh, what he's going to be debuting. I won't say any more about that. But, okay. All right. You know, Tease. The bass player and the drummer, they're doing their part. Um, we're not, they're not going for any kind of particular look. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just, you know, a, a good, cool rock look. We have in the past done a Randy Road show where uh, on the anniversary of his death, we would play a show where I dress up as Randy and play Randy guitars and stuff like that. And Robert would dress up as Ozzy from that era. Uh-huh. And the other guys would dress up as Rudy Sarzo and, and Tommy Aldridge and stuff. So we've done that, but... For the most part, you know, it's all about Ozzy, and so people are just mainly interested in seeing him and watching yeah. him be a madman on stage and be a what we like to call a rock and roll cheerleader. <laughs> and so, yeah. I guess my final question, man, uh, Chris, what? how many times have you seen Ozzy in concert? Are you a mega fan? You've seen him a lot of times? Uh, yeah, I've seen him a few times. Um, the first time I saw him uh, was the Bark at the Moon tour. Wow. When Motley Crue opened up, and you know, it's funny, they always talk about that was the, the, the most insane tour ever between Motley Crue and Ozzy with all the antics going on off stage. Um, so it was you know, kind of funny that that was the first show that I ever saw of Ozzy, but yes, I've seen him multiple times. Well, fantastic, man. It's been really cool getting to know you again. Chris Wilde, guitar player for uh, Blizzard of Oz, a tribute to Ozzy and Black Sabbath. Again, the show is this Friday night, Palomino Fest, Night of Rock at Uvalde County Fairplex. It is a free show. Uvalde Radio Rocks will be out there broadcasting live, so look for us. We're going to be tossing out some koozies and t-shirts and other good stuff, too. Looking forward to seeing the Ozzy tribute, along with Def Leppard and Journey tributes as well. Uh, Chris, as we wrap up this chat, we already did some, some crazy train earlier. Pick me, uh, pick me your favorite Ozzy or Black Sabbath song to play live that you will perform in your set. Uh, Over the Mountain. All right. That's a great one. Before we go, plug, plug the Facebook or the website or whatever it is. How do we find out more out about you guys? Uh, yeah, you can go to Facebook and search for Blizzard of Oz uh, TX for Texas, and uh, you'll find us there. Uh, we also have our website, which is www.blizzardofoztx.com. Check us out there as well. All right, man. We appreciate your time. Again, over the mountain, Aussie. This is Uvalde Radio Rocks. We appreciate you, brother. I'll see you Friday night, okay? All right. Thanks, man.